What's up guys, it's a little back with our video and today I have a little bit of a Christmas special if you guys are watching this on Christmas I decided because I know a lot of new players are gonna be coming into the game for Christmas They're gonna get the game for Christmas Maybe they're gonna get a new console for Christmas and so I figured I'm gonna post a video showing you guys how to shoot better I'm gonna give you guys the best jump shots for any position any build any three-point rating I'm gonna give you a bunch of different jump shots in this video whether you guys are on the new consoles and playing next gen and you guys are in the city or if you're on the old consoles current gen and you guys are playing on the goat boat these jump shots are gonna work for you this year I'm shooting over 60% from three which is actually very tough to do this year a lot of people struggle out of the gate I also have a 90 win percentage and I'm gonna tell you guys all of the things that the best players the most competitive players do not want you guys to know along with the jump shots I'm also gonna show you guys the best shooting badges settings and I'm also gonna give you guys a bunch of shooting tips at the end of the video so if you want to become the best shooter possible watch this entire video video through to the end let me know in the comments if you guys got 2k23 for christmas or also if you don't celebrate christmas happy holidays if you celebrate hanukkah kwanzaa or one of the other holidays happy holidays hope you guys have a great day great holidays if you guys still haven't make sure to subscribe to the channel on the road to 700 000 subscribers press there at subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you guys don't miss a streamer upload real quick i want to see something and i'm going to go through and heart every single comment if you subscribe to me back in 2020 or 2021 or whatever comment the date or about when you subscribe to me or how long you've been subscribed to me let me know in the comments or if this is your first time seeing my videos sub up let me know this is your first time also i'm daily uploading on my second channel solo 2.0 i'm posting a bunch of sports content nba nfl reactions rankings tier lists all that type of stuff so the link will be in the description for that but without further ado it is time to hop into the best jump shots on nba 2k23 Okay, so I am now in the park and you guys can see I've won multiple events where you have to be top three in the event I've beat the boosters. If you guys want to watch those videos, you can go watch them Did those events all legit So I'm just saying if you're gonna listen to anybody you might as well listen to someone that's pretty decent at the game I'm just trying to give myself some credibility so you guys don't think that I'm ass Also, I'm on next gen. Like I said, if you guys are on the goat boat, your game does not look like this It does not matter. You're just on a different game than me There's two versions and it doesn't matter. Everything is the same gameplay wise So real quick, i'm gonna go to options and then i'm gonna go to controller settings to show you guys my controller settings my vibration is on i don't even know if that matters or helps you shooting at all i think it doesn't because of zens they had to patch it but the key thing here is my shot meter is off and some of you new players might be thinking how is solo shooting with his shot meter off i mean is he just guessing no because i mean i've been playing 2k for years so i just kind of got the hang of it but there are shot cues with each jump shot that tell you when you should release it. So, you know, when your hands get to a certain point in the air, that's when you know you should release it. And also, since I think 2K20, Mike Wang, the head gameplay developer of 2K, has said that you get a shot percentage boost if you have your shot meter off because it is harder. They want to encourage this. And it actually helps you green more if you know your jump shot with your shot meter off. So I recommend you guys try this. If you're on next gen, you could go to the Gatorade training facility and shoot around or just hop in a court and shoot around. If you're on current gen, you could go to your my court and shoot around, test this out. But if you can't get the hang of it, you can keep your shot meter on. But I really recommend getting the hang of shot meter off as soon as possible. For shot timing, I have it on shots only. Basically, if you want to time your layups, you could put uh, this on shots and layups, but I don't want to time my layups. Basically, I just go in, hold X, and if it goes in, it goes in because Usually you're going to be wide open and it's going to go in shot timing release time. Now, guys, if you are taller than six foot five, right? If you're taller than six foot five, put this on early. That is just my opinion, because if you're taller, your jump shot is slower. So by putting it on early, you don't have to hold it forever because like I said, you're going to be taller. Your jump shot's slower. You don't want to have to hold the X button for years. So I put this on early, but if I'm on a shorter build, like my six two build, I change shot timing release too late because my jumper is way faster on shorter builds so to make it so that my jump shots are kind of similar whenever i change builds i kind of counter it i don't know if you guys know what i'm saying shorter builds i make my shot timing release time on late and on taller builds i go early basically this just changes how long you hold the x button or if you're on playstation the square button a lot of these settings don't really matter make sure pro stick orientation is on absolute and i'll scroll down so you guys can get the rest of these but they don't really matter that much the next thing that i want to talk about that's actually very crucial if i press start go over to progress 
progression go down here to get boost you guys can see skill boost at the top there jump shots i have 41 games now you guys are not going to see me playing a game without jump shot boost unless it's on accident so if you click a to get boost here press right trigger you guys will see the jump shot boost you can get a 10 pack for 1500 and these actually do help if you guys are new to 2k maybe you think 2k is just scamming no these actually make you shoot better so i always play games with these the other boosts help a lot too but not as much as jump shots i mean you guys can get those but i wouldn't recommend it also the gatorade if you really want to try hard maybe you're playing a stage game or a very important game get the gatorade super shake pack the one all the way to the left that's the one that i recommend but gatorade is very expensive so really i just recommend you get the jump shot boost okay it is now time for the part of the video that i know a ton of you guys clicked on this video for the jump shots and right now i am on my six foot seven so if you guys don't know this year if you are six foot five or taller you have different jump shots than builds that are six foot four and under so if you're short there's different jump shots from bills that are tall and not only that if you guys are new to 2k you really want to pay attention to this look at the bottom right you guys see height at least six foot five and under six foot ten so it kind of pinches you in that range and then also on the bottom there mid-range shot 74 plus or three point shot 74 plus so i'm going to kind of switch through a bunch of different jump shot bases right now you guys see the numbers changing down there basically this year the requirements for different jump shots change based on whatever you put in so if you have a different base or different release it's going to change the requirements so if you have a low three point shot or a low mid range you might not be able to get some of the jump shots so i'm going to give you some jump shots for lower three point shots and i'm also going to give you some for higher three point shots and of course i'm also going to give you my jump shot so to start i'm going to give you the jump shots that i've been using for the last month or two it is called green on this player so here we go i'm going to edit jump shot and bang this is the jump shot base kyle kuzma with both releases as oscar robertson this is one of the most popular jump shots in the game so it's not like i'm really breaking news right here or showing you something crazy i mean if you never watched a jump shot video then yeah this is going to be pretty crazy make sure to put this on full release speed and again you have to be taller than six foot five and you need at least an 83 mid-range or three point shot you guys can see over in the bottom right it has a plus defensive immunity and a plus release speed two of the most important stats when it comes to jump shot real quick if you guys skip to this part of the video make sure to sub up i'm on the road to 700k i would really appreciate it i wasn't even planning to drop this video but since it's christmas i wanted to bless a bunch of you guys and i know there's gonna be a lot of people that just don't know what jump shot to use so i wanted to get this video out but yeah put this jump shot on i have never heard anybody complain about this jump shot it is so smooth and later on in the video when i talk about shooting tips i will show you the shooting cue that will tell you when you want to release it it makes it very easy it's just it's so easy this jump shot but moving on let me show you this other jump shot right here it's it's called new chicken i use this for a couple games and i know a lot of people that use this jump shot i don't really use it i prefer the kuzma one but base o'shea brissette now you notice it has a plus for release speed a plus for defensive immunity and also a plus for release height. i don't think release height matters that much like when we talk about jump shots but it's kind of cool it has three a pluses this jump shot is very good and you'll need a 79 mid range and a 79 three point shot or one or the other so you guys could try that one out and another one i want to actually show you is isaac bonga this one, you know, if the other jump shots don't work for you, or you just want to be a little different, you could try this. I actually used this in like a challenge video. It was supposed to be a troll, but it actually turned out to be a really good jump shot. And I remember some stage kids and some actually like skilled kids. I remember them using this jump shot because it kind of looks like set shot 22, which was the best jump shot from last year or set shot 25, my bad. So you guys could try this one out if you want, but this is like my third option. Also, Lamelo Ball is actually pretty solid as well. So if you want to try that, you can. I'm going to scroll through these and see if there's any other solid ones i'm forgetting something i want to mention because i just clicked on kevin durant and you did an 89 mid range or an 89 three point to use his jump shot is sometimes when you see a lot of a's or a pluses in the bottom right that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a great jump shot because you still need the jump shot to be smooth you still need it to be easy to time and although there's a bunch of a's it might not be a good jump shot so i wouldn't really base a jump shot strictly based off those stats in the bottom right those are basically all of the jump shots that are good when it comes to bases i'm sure there's going to be some people in the comments like yo why why don't you use Dean Wade? It's actually cash, but like, you know what I'm saying? I gave you my top ones. You could do what you want with those. I I actually heard lethal shooter here is uh is actually a pretty solid base. So I've never tried it, but I heard it's actually pretty solid. Real quick, I want to mention bases is really what's gonna change up your jump shot and the timing of your jump shot. You can mess with the releases. I don't like to touch them too much this year. Usually I just put on Oscar Robertson and Oscar Robertson, but releases just kind of change like the smoothness. So, you know, you could tweak them if you want. You know, maybe if you want to throw in like Ray Allen or something in the releases, or you just want to mess around, you could try that. There's not too many releases I like. Rudy Gay has been good for like the 
last five 2K. So you could sprinkle nice. that in. But again, I like double Robertson. But I mean, you could try Rudy Gay. Even Paul George is a solid one. You could try that. So yeah, those are jump shots for builds that are taller than 6'5". But real quick, let me jump onto my smaller guard so I could show you my jump shot for right. smaller builds. Okay, so I am now on my 6'2 player. So for you shorter guards, which those are like the traditional guards. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that make shorter guards for Christmas. So I already know some of you guys are paying attention to this. But taller builds are actually pretty good this year. Like I've always been a guard. You know, six nines go crazy. Okay, this jump shot is not good. Do not do not use that. That was like a day one jumper. This one too. Don't use that. Let me just see. Butter. Let's see what's in butter. Derek Fisher, Darius Garland, Amanda quickly. I still wouldn't recommend that. Chicken. This is gonna be the jump shot that I use. Yep. John Stockton is the base. Release one is Darius Garland, and release two is John Wall. You can see we got a couple A pluses. Release height really doesn't matter. You need an 86 mid range or an 86 three point to use this. I have 80% Darius Garland, 20% John Wall, full release speed. John Stockton is one of the quickest bases in the game. It's gonna get your jump shot off very fast, and it almost looks like I want to say base three. I think it was from last year. So if you like that jump shot, you're gonna like this one. Might feel a little bit weird at first, but as you play a couple games you're gonna like it because it's very fast very smooth you do need an 86 mid range or 86 three point but that shouldn't be too hard because if you're short i mean you're usually usually got a pretty high rating when it comes to shooting because you're not going to be too good at defense so like your wingspan is not going to be too high if you guys don't like that base you can also try lamello ball base that's a solid one i mentioned that before for taller builds i guess you can get lamello ball for both short and tall builds also Derek fisher wasn't bad i mean i use this in season one when i used to play on this player i really don't play on this player that much but Derek fisher was actually pretty smooth when I used it. Another one I could recommend you guys trying is Dwayne Wade. This one's been good since 2K20. So if you want to try D Wade base, you could try that as well. That's going to be about it for the bases. I'm sure there's going to be some other glitchy ones. If you guys know of them, you can comment them below. Also, my three point is not high enough to get Steph Curry. But if Steph Curry appears here, I think you need. Oh, oh, that's Seth Curry. Never mind. I, I almost got excited for a second. I think you need like a 96 three pointer midi, or maybe it's a little lower, like 93. It's something crazy. But if you have that, you could try Steph Steph Curry base, but I also, I really like John Stockton, as I said before, but you could try Steph Curry because that, that base is actually pretty solid. As far as the releases go on shorter builds, there's not too many great ones. I feel like they're better on the taller builds where you get Paul George, you get Rudy Gay, Oscar Robertson, you get a lot of the better uh, releases on taller builds, but for shorter builds, you can mess around with it. The ones that I have found that I like is Darius Garland and John Wall. As I said before, I'm going to show you a bunch of things in this video. I recommend you don't click off if you want to be the best shooter because there are secret badges that people don't tell you about. They think, you know, you got to put on the tier three badges if you want to be the best. That's not true. There's a lot of badges in tier one and tier two that you could use that are very good, very glitchy. Also, I'm going to show you shooting tips at the end of the video like i said i want this to be the ultimate jump shot video the ultimate shooting video on how to be the best shooter possible right now i'm on my six foot two that gets 23 shooting badges again depending on your height you're gonna have badges in different tiers so if you're really tall you might have amped in tier one which i'll i'll get on my six nine or my six seven and i'll show you what i have for that and if you guys are on current gen you guys do not have any of the tier badges so it's gonna be a little bit different most of the tier three badges are the op badges so if you're on current gen you can just put them on right away but on next gen we need to spend 10 badge points in tier one and tier two before we can even put anything in tier three now on my six foot two this is more of like a dribbling building i'm gonna have the ball so i don't need claymore i think i only had that on because of like rec or maybe i was playing an event this is quite possibly my favorite shooting setup again i don't really plan this build but if you are a shorter build this is what you should probably have your shooting setup looking like now blinders you don't need it agent three and limitless are my favorite tier three badges so make sure you have on those two first i would do agent threes then i would put on limitless make sure you core one of them because you know you'll get extra badges if you don't know how core badges work basically you see that bar on the bottom there so for blinders you see my progress to bronze blinders basically once you activate a badge a bunch of times you fill up that bar and then once it's full you can core it and it costs no badges so you can do that one time per category so one shooting badge, badge that's actually pretty good is amped so you could put on amped if you want to do that if blind because i don't know if blind is really works fully so amped is another really good one and then i would probably go clutch shooter silver i like this setup here a lot volume shooter is a very good badge it activates all the time same with clutch shooter same with comeback kid amped is good green machines obviously good i like this shooting setup a lot honestly there's not even too many shooting badges that are op this year now i switched to a build that is taller than six foot five so the badges are going to look a little bit different like i said amped before it was in tier two now it's in tier one depending on your height the badges kind of move around i'm on a six foot seven so i do get silver 
for limitless range limitless range is actually really good so put this to the highest possible level agent threes another very great shooting badge as i talked about before my shooting badges look very similar to my six foot two so yeah this is what i have on and this is what i recommend for any build taller than six foot five if you're on a six nine demigod if you're on a six seven you know my new build this is what I recommend you do for your shooting badges. Like I said, I want to make this the ultimate shooting tutorial, the ultimate shooting tips video. So next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys some shooting tips. So for the first thing, you know, if you want to shoot around, you can just hop on a court. You see what this guy's doing. He's just shooting around. He's not actually playing a game. If you guys are on next gen, just hop on a court. That's not playing a game and you can shoot around. That's one way you could practice or you can go to the subway station, which they're everywhere. You can see them located. You know, all these blue dots are subways and you want to go to the East Mall station right here because that is going to be the one that is near the Gatorade training facility now if you guys are in current gen go to an elevator there's elevators all over the cruise ship and then you're going to want to pick the one that says my court you can go to your my court walk over to the court press a or press x if you're on playstation and bang you could just shoot around and practice there so i'm gonna walk in here to the gatorade training facility and then in the back here we have this door that has rental courts this is how you practice shooting around on next gen for some reason there's no my court on next gen so we gotta use these gatorade rental courts now that you're upstairs you gotta find which one says your name on it which is actually the first one for me then i'm gonna walk in here press the left bumper once you're on the court bang you could bring out your basketball and practice shooting around practice your jump shot so you guys can get in here and practice your jump shot all you want you could practice your fades if you want just like this you could practice your dribbling whatever i have dribble tutorials you could just look up solo dribble tutorial nba 2k23 maybe i'll put the link in the description but for shooting the main thing i want to tell you is the jump shot cue for my jump shot and this basically goes for almost every jump shot what you guys want to do when you're using this jump shot this is the kyle kuzma base but again it works for the stockton base it works for basically every jump shot when you are shooting the ball you want to release when your hands are at the peak when your hands are above your head at the top of the jump shot that's when you want to release the x button or if you're on playstation the square button so i'm going to pause it on your screen it's not going to be paused on my screen because that's not possible but on your screen it'll pause when my hands are at the top so ready three two one bang when your hands are right there above your head above the top of the jump shot that is when you want to release the x button and you will get a green every single time now this is going to take practice you're not going to get it right away but if you get in the gatorade training facility you get in your my court you can practice this and you can get a green every time because no shot meter is a little challenging for some people at first but you get a shot percentage boost if you use no shot meter but if you really struggle just throw your shot meter on i guess but i really don't recommend that but if you need it you could use your shot meter another tip i'll give to you guys to hit a lot of jumpers is to not dribble a lot now i dribble a lot you know i've been playing the game for a while so i could hit a lot of my shots even when i'm like low stamina but if you're new to 2k the best way to go about it is you know catch and shoots or if you get the ball maybe hit him with like one move and shoot off of it but if you're dribbling around the whole court your stamina is going to be low your adrenaline boosts are going to be low you're going to be blinking red and it's just going to be very tough to hit jump shots so conserve your energy take good shots and you guys will be good but yeah guys that is gonna do it for this jump shot video like i said this is a little holiday special a little christmas special because i know there's gonna be a lot of new players hopping on the game and it's kind of like my gift i'm dropping jump shots the other day i just dropped my new build finally you know i dropped drill moves a couple weeks ago i'm just trying to help you guys out i've also been posting bangers i've been posting pretty much every three days so if you guys want to see me win an event or you guys want to see some of my challenge videos maybe a spin the wheel of worst builds videos check out my channel all the the videos will be there again if you guys want to support and sub it to my second channel solo tupano the link will be in the description i've been daily uploading in there i've been going crazy i've been locked in posting a bunch of sport videos nfl nba you guys will see it if you go to that channel but again merry christmas happy holidays to everybody i hope that these jump shots and these tips help you out if they do let me know in the comments you can come back to this video let me know how they work for you but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you don't think that i meant since they didn't know who i was i had to make sure they know who i am a whole lot of hits before I was even a man Always been the hardest artist in every room They just don't know why I stand